Three Rivers Athletic Conference. Potter Fieldhouse Clay trying to freeze the Knights, the St. Francis Knights. With the temperatures outside, that might be possible. First quarter, Eagle strong right out of the gate. Scott Woodland in the corner, eyes it flies at three is good. Clay looking for the first track win of the year. Later in the first, two good big men going head to head inside Clay's Noah Hogdahl. The hoop and the harm. Clay building a nine point lead, but the Knights rally. Karsten May served up a blockeroni <coughs> and cheese, triggers the fast break. Fizel Crumby, the lay in. St. Francis seizes the momentum. More from the Knights again in transition. Again, they find Crumby, this time from behind the three point line. St. Francis firmly in control, and with Hogdahl in fall trouble, Future Kent State Golden Flash, Claron Hornby takes advantage. The hoop inside St. Francis on a 19-4 run to take control, and they go on to win. Final score 68-57, Crumbie 16 leading the balance scoring attack for the Knights. Mason Lowry and Darren Cohn turning, well, turning to Eminem to break down this one. Well, this was a real nice win on the road for St. Francis, but the win itself isn't the story. The story is that Fizel Crumby's back. Guess who's back? Back again, and he was ready to play tonight. Number 24 came off the bench and got the Knights firing on all cylinders. Clay jumped out to an early start in that first quarter. Big Frank Wagenfeld got in foul trouble, and then the Knights just came in and rolled in quarter two. Looked really good tonight. Offensive contributions across the board, which they've been lacking, they were happy to see that show up this evening in a track win. Yeah, nine Knights scored in total. They got 21 points off the bench in that first half. Ethan Meyer and Martin Barreto came in along with Fizel Crumby that really helped things out. 19-4 to four run. They were down by six late in the first, and it was mostly Knights from that point on. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you know, Clay put up a valid effort, especially with number five, Noah Hagdahl. He competed all the way to the end, got on the glass, got buckets for his team, tried to defend. But the Knights, they were just getting contributions. You know, their guys, Crumby, Hornby, Kaiser, they showed up like they're normally supposed to. But as you mentioned, the scoring, but also the defensive plays, the intensity of the Barretos, the Myers, uh, Mr. Huggins. I mean, you know, Stephen McCoy, he always causes havoc. I mean, Coach Lewis and his staff have to be really excited as they start to creep towards that tournament. They got five games here in eight days, but they have to be really excited from the diversity of, of contributions they got tonight, uh, starters and bench. Tournament draw on Sunday. I have a feeling nobody is going to want to draw St. Francis early on in the postseason.